Order 66 is by far one of the most famous and deadly contingency orders that we know about in Star Wars, but there is in fact an order that we have explored before that I would like to revisit. An order known as the dreaded Order 37 that was never enacted during the Clone Wars, but would eventually be enacted by the clone troopers later on. For those of you that don't know, the clone troopers had 150 contingency orders, contingency orders for different situations, including one order that would force the clone troopers to take out all of the senators if Palpatine he never desired that to happen. Here's a quote from a clone trooper explaining some of the different contingency orders. We've got 150 Shabla contingency rules, everything from arresting the Chancellor if he goes gaga, to reducing key allied worlds to slag if they ever switch sides. In fact, in the contingency orders, this is what it had to say about Order 66. In the event that Jedi officers acting against the interests of the Republic and after receiving specific orders verified as coming directly from the Supreme Chancellor, Gar commanders will remove those officers by lethal force, and command of the Gar will revert to the Supreme Chancellor until a new command structure is established. Again though, there was a contingency order worse than Order 66, which actually involved the clone troopers executing civilians, an order that would be enacted several times over the reign of the Empire, especially when civilians refused to hand over a Jedi in their possession and under their protection. This is what it has to say about Order 37. Order 37 was one of a series of contingency orders that the clone troopers of the Grand Army of the Republic learned when they were being trained on the planet of Kamino. It dealt with using a large amount of civilian hostages to force the capture of an individual. It involved suppressing local civilian populations, including mass civilian arrests and civic lockdowns, and then issuing an ultimatum. If the local populace does not turn over said individual, all the arrestees will be executed. Although it was common, they always had to use this order as it was a last resort to capture the wanted individual Jedi, for instance. One of the earliest points where we saw the clone troopers actually execute Order 37 was on the planet of Balesa. On the planet of Balesa, a Jedi Knight was hiding out, so the clone troopers issued the ultimatum, saying this, All Balesans must return to their homes. No Balesans will be allowed to leave the planet. Usa is in lockdown. Outlanders may approach the checkpoint. Order 37 was explained in the Last of the Jedi series, and again was considered the more aggressive version of even even Order 66, as it involved targeting civilians. At no point to my current knowledge did the clone troopers ever execute Order 37 during the Clone Wars era, simply during the era of the Galactic Empire, where again it was a very common practice and Palpatine gave approval directly in order to execute the order. This happened very frequently in the first few years of the Galactic Empire especially, as the Empire was rounding up and killing Jedi. Again, this order was to be used as a last resort, with Jedi either turning themselves in or eventually unable to live with themselves if the civilian population was killed in order to protect the Jedi. 90% of the time though, a Jedi Knight would turn themselves in and would then be executed by the Empire if a civilian population was at stake. And this was by far the most successful way the clone troopers managed to detain Jedi during the Age of the Empire. Order 37 was so sinister, there are even rules on how exactly a clone trooper was to dispose of a body, or mass bodies, saying this, it is imperative that bodies not be released to family members. All holonet communications must be shut down that morning and calm silence maintained for the next month so Compnor can control information outflow. No accounts to be disseminated, as they can prove detrimental to Imperial control of surrounding system. Proof of body disposal documented for Inquisitor Malorum to pass LDV. Essentially what this means is after the events of the Order 37 being executed, the clone troopers had a special method of disposing of bodies, and would even go completely calm silent so that no information on Order 37 being executed would ever leave the location where it was. Because of course if it was ever released to the public that Order 37 was in fact a part of the Galactic Empire's contingency orders, it could cause a revolt among the public. So again, in order to stop this, the Empire controlled all communication on the world, as well as completely destroyed the bodies, leaving no evidence of the attack. But what are your guys' thoughts on the dreaded Order 37? And in your opinion, is this worse than Order 66? If you guys would leave a like on the video, I will also do a series exploring the other contingency orders for the clone troops. Troopers. As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. May the force be with you and have a great day.